All right, guys, so we are in Venice. Made it here late last night. Everything was actually really closed, so there was almost no people on the streets. I, I suspected to have a kind of, you know, vibrant nightlife, but not really. It's, you know, by 11 o'clock, things are closed down. So, you know, we went to sleep and uh, yeah, today out exploring the, this beautiful city, so. Oh wow, look at that. Oh. This is this city is fantastic. Wow. Well here we are. We just sat down to have a bite to eat by this kennel side restaurant. But look at this. As you sit here you can see gondolas and little boats go by and there's some couple that had a, a singer in their gondola. You know, it's, it's quite unique. It's a very picturesque place. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna see is uh, the Rialto Bridge. This is a very, very famous place in Venice, and it is the oldest bridge ever built that crosses the Grand Canal. So that's the largest of all canals here in Venice, and this bridge is the oldest one. It was built in the mid middle of 16th century, and um, it, it's a magnificent thing. I'm, I'm going to show you around and we're going to walk through it. Let's go. Now, like everything in Venice, there's a lot of tales surrounding the Rialto Bridge. And I just wanted to share with you one of, one of the tales that I found interesting. So. When this bridge was being built, it was sort of re revolutionary for its time because um, no single arch bridge was built yet in this place. The, the ground is very muddy and very soft, so people were afraid that it would, you know, collapse. And there was a lot of kind of, um, you know, tension about this project. People weren't quite believing it. And one of the tales was that once it was done, it was, you know, this, this, this achievement was so unbelievable that the tale was that the devil himself said that he would take the first soul of um, a, a soul of a per first person that crossed this bridge. And, um, and so the architect then wanted to trick the devil. And so the tale says that he, he let the rooster get through the, through the bridge, but the devil found out about his plan <clears throat> and said, well, no, 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 um, this is not going to work. And he said, I will take um, your firstborn as a price for this bridge. And actually, firstborn son of the, of the architect and his wife both died while the architect was making the bridge. So um, it has a little bit of a tragic, tragic story with regards to the architect himself. But, you know, obviously it did work. It is a magnificent, safe bridge and one of the uh, poster card images of Venice. So we're gonna go check it out. Here we are. We are walking up to the famous Rialto Bridge. Wow, look at that. It's a really uh, sturdy looking bridge. Look at that, it's, it's thick. It's a thick boy. Wow. As you can see, it's a midday here in Venice, end of August. So it's not as many tourists as you would see in summertime, but it's still packed with people. Funny thing is, during night, this all changes. It becomes very quiet. Okay, let's see. There we go. Here we go. Look at the view of Venice you get from here. Oh man, this is awesome. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can take a break and stop right here. 
Oh, would you look at that? See of all of Grand Canal right in front of you. It's fascinating. You know, an in interesting thing is that this is much more than a bridge. So this part is the walking part, but here you actually have stores and uh, that sell jewelry and souvenirs. It's a it's a huge project. Like, look at this. Look how look how wide it is. Here's the view from the other side. There you go, this uh, view from the Rialto Bridge from the outside. Yeah, it's really wide. Like the whole thing is filled with shops and tourists. It's really cool. All right, well, here we are. Now we're descending the bridge, sort of on the middle part. And like I said, you see, there's stores on each side. This is a sturdy little thing. Wow. Okay. Oh. Well, this is interesting. So right as we walk down, there appears to be a market of sorts. Let's go check out what we can see. Yeah, there you go. So see, this is the middle of the bridge. You can see filled with stores. And as you walk down the steps, get right to the market. So that should be that should be quite interesting. I'm sure there's kind of all sorts of uh, souvenirs and and uh, other interesting uh, interesting things that we can find. So let's go explore. I'll look at the map. Hey guys. So we are just exploring. Venice there's no set plan for today you know it was a late day anyway so we're just just walking around kind of looking at things as they come at us and uh, look at this you know you, this is where you would find yourself if you just walk through Venice and these beautiful little courts you know surrounded by beautifully artistic buildings and actually that one right there turns out is where we're gonna see the Vivaldi Four Season concert later tonight I'll show you that when we get to that but uh right in front of me there's another church and i'm not sure i'm i'm sorry I, i'm not sure what it's called because the entrance is closed but we'll go in and we'll explore let's do it as i'll show you this is the the musical building and here under construction so there's nothing saying what it is some kind of church so let's let's go in and See what we found. Ah, oh, there we are. Museo della Chiesa di San Zaccaria. Wow. Look at that. What a fantastic, fantastic place to stop. monument there for somebody laying at rest and his hat is the one that Venetian um, doges would wear sort of points on points up on the back of your head don't know if you can see it from here but but it's there so this is certainly a resting place of one of the doges
magnificent. frescoes. Just so pretty. Here we are. As you can see, there's Jesus Christ. And on the left is what appears to be Moses because he's represented usually with sort of horns of light coming from his head. So you can see that he's holding the Ten Commandments and looking at Jesus. Possibly as the new hope for Krishna. For Krishna, for religion. This is fantastic. Wow. Yeah, like, look at that. This is where we walked in right there. This is just magnificent. Oh, what a beautiful place. beautiful mosaic. Sort of looks almost Byzantinium. Huh. Wow. So let's see, what is this? Here we go. Here it tells us a little bit about it. So this is from mid 16th century. Unfortunately, I don't know Italian. So I can't really tell you what it says, but at least I can give you a look. So neat, I'm happy we're discovering this together. So happy we stopped by here. You know, whenever you see an open door like this, I would highly encourage you to stop by because you never know what you're gonna find. Like. Oh, and there's the, there's the organ right there. Look how the doors that open it up are also full of frescoes. So, my, so we saw one resting place of one doge on the right side. And there's, um, there's a likewise image of two more. So I think this is a resting place for multiple doges of Venice, which makes it very, very, very interesting to visit. You know, and here we have the monument to Pius X, who was a pope over the Roman Church from 1903 to 1914. So this is a relatively new installation, but look how beautiful it is what is here. This looks a little bit more ancient. Wow, look at that. So this is from 1528. The statue in front of you is of Saint Jerome, a 4th century saint. Why he's holding a rock, you might ask? Well, that's because he lived in a desert where he tried to to pray away his sexual desires. And every time they would come back, he would hit himself in the chest with that rock. So cool. Okay guys, so we gotta run. We only have, oh, there's another Pius the 10th. Okay guys, well we gotta run because we only have day and a half left in Venice and there's a whole lot to see, so let's go. So we are walking to our next destination, but you know, I just wanted to show you a little glimpses here. It's a monument to some gentlemen.
I have to say, Venice is fantastic. You know, you find yourself constantly in these little streets, as you can see behind me. There's uh, not much space and it kind of makes you wonder. When you look up, you see the, the windows right there. So right now there's not too many Venetians still living here. It's mostly a, a tourist city, right? But back in the day, it was a fully functioning uh, sailors um, trade port kind of city. And so it would be filled with uh, native Venetians just living here, going about their daily business. So can you imagine like, you know, you wake up and and for the next 20 years, you, you know a person across from your window. So, you know, you they hear when you argue, you hear when somebody in that house argues, the whole street hears it. The amount of communication and closeness that these people had was incredible. As we're walking by to our next destination, we saw this Centurio Madonna della Grazi in San Giovanni Cristomo. So how about we go in and see what this is? So without even realizing it, we walked into a very special and holy place in Venice. Um, right behind me on the wall, you see in the yellow, that is an image of Madonna, Mother Mary. And the story is that in 1918, during War World I, uh, an Austrian bomb hit this church. And as a result, the Madonna fell, but it did not break miraculously. And since that time, people have been considering this statue of Madonna as a holy, blessed statue, and they come here to pray to it. When you're in Italy, I would suggest you pick up these ones. These are called cannolis. They're, they're Italian classic, and uh, they're so delicious. Check this out. So I was just walking by, and you can see here it's Spritz Takeaway. Spritz is a classic Italian drink where they put like liquor together with syrup and um, carbonated water. So we're gonna go inside and buy a, buy a spritz for a hike up there. All right, here we are. So we're just turning the corner and here she is. This is gonna be our next stop. This church right here is one of the best examples of Venetian Renaissance design with the colorful marble and columns. It, it looks unlike anything you see in churches around the world. It's very typical for this area. And I really wanted to stop by and take a look at it. So this beautiful church is called Santa Maria del Maricoli. And it dates all the way back to the mid 16th century. It's fantastic, I think get there you have to cross this little bridge as you can see these little bridges are everywhere they're the only connecting points between the streets so neat you know you can walk around on the sunny day like this explore Venice have a little spritz for three euros not too bad and also you walking here and I can smell this beautiful smell of uh, fried calamari or uh, some other fish perhaps but you know this is so picturesque I love this place yeah here we are so we're just walking around the the side of the church I just want you to look at the, the scenery here you know these little beautiful windows there is uh, balcony gardens and here we are here is the church Saint Maria de Maracoy. Look at that. I can't see if, I can't say I've seen many churches that look like this. Very different. Okay, let's go in. All right, well, we are a little bit too late today to see the church, so we'll come back tomorrow, but that's all right. We'll take a short stroll back to the hotel, see a little bit more about Venice, from Venice, and, um, and then off to Vivaldi. That's pretty neat. Look at this. Here we are, sitting with Brady. Brady, say hi. Hello. Ben. Hello. We're playing with dogs. Hey, <laughs> there we go. So we're sitting here, this little plaza. We are by the, uh, let's see, 
What is this place called? Let's walk out and... It is called Dolce Amaro. And supposedly this is one of the best places you can get an aperitif, which is Italian spritz drink with some champagne or carbonated water and some liquor. So, you know, you can you can stop by here and the, the wine selection is fantastic. So you'll find some, some wine and some harder liquor. Uh, it's very authentic and local. So I, I'd highly suggest stopping by here, but we're gonna check it out. So we just had the owner's own recipe for our aperitivo. She only uses local, local uh, liquors. This is truly delicious. Salute. And here we are walking just these little streets and right to the left, I saw this monument on the wall and you can so quickly pass by it. But if you just look up, look where you can find. Here's a memorial to the Italian soldiers from World War, World War I. So these, I suppose, are the local people that fought in World War and has fallen. So this is, this is the uh, a memorial to these brave soldiers that fought on the side of the Allies during World War I. Look at that, beautiful. All right, well, you know, here we go. This sums up the first day in Venice. It's fantastic, I, I really loved it. You know, you you get to see a city that is basically hasn't been changed for 500 years. So obviously there's little, little stores on the bottom with modern stuff, but you know, the architecture largely is still intact from the olden days. So I loved it and you know, it was kind of stress-free today. Just walk around, see whatever comes. And uh, you know, we're, we're about to go to the, uh, to Vivaldi's four season here in the, one of the uh, opera houses and um, you know like look at this what a beautiful view just from the from the street you can see the little streets of Venice here we're sort of in a heartland of it and uh, you know picked up this fantastic grappa wine which is about 40 percent uh, strong and uh, apparently it's supposed to be really good this one is called grappa off grappa off I don't know. We'll see how it is, but let's pre-drink before the concert and enjoy that later. All right, well, cheerio, guys. Here's to a good first day. Oh, my God. That is so good. It's smooth. It's still technically wine, but a fortified wine it is. 40%. Wow, so smooth. The only... It kind of reminds me of a very good cognac almost for some reason. It's fantastic. So if you if you have a chance, try some grappa in the uh, in Italy while you're here. You will not regret this. Cheers, guys.